Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to have an exercise where we're going to evaluate a definite integral by using uh, the technique called the partial fraction. And this technique is applicable to rational functions where the top and the bottom are polynomials. So we have a specific guideline uh, to follow and, 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 and check. Uh, so the, the question is like, how do you decompose the given rational function into smaller uh, rational functions where the order uh, or the degree of the polynomials are less than what you start with okay this is especially for the bottoms of uh, rational functions so we call this process uh, partial fractions it's essentially decomposition of the rational function into partial fractions okay so uh, what when you when you're given a, a, a rational function first thing to check is the degree of the top and the degree of the bottom so if you decide that degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom uh, or or even uh, greater than or equal to greater than or equal to okay so those two cases then then you have to rely on to uh, the long polynomial division in fact in the first case as you see in the first example you have x minus one it co it's coming with degree one and the bottom is a uh, cubicle right so uh, it's a cubic so uh, uh, it's it's coming with degree three so that doesn't fit into number one uh, in the list but the second example, you have the degree of the top to be 2 and the bottom to be 2. There you go. So that means you're going to start uh, applying the long division uh, for, for this problem. Okay. So uh, please practice that before we get started. Uh, but let's check the other two items as well. Uh, once, you have an, uh, once you decide that the rational function is not improper, that means it's proper, so then you're going to factor the denominator as much as you can, okay? So, so that you're going to stop at a point that, uh, that you will decide that uh, the factors are not reducible anymore, okay? Once you do that, you may run into linear and quadratic factors, and for each case, uh, you have a specific guideline. A copy of this uh, guideline uh, is found in the lecture notes and in the ebook. Please check that and have it ready. And, and time to time, I'm going to refer back to that in the video. If you don't have it with you, I have it with you in the video, so, uh, but for your own reference for, for other times uh, when you prepare yourself uh, for exam or, uh, uh, or an, an assignment. So please have those ready in your notes. All right, uh, let's get started. All right, let's take care of uh, part A. I have x minus 1, x squared and x plus 1. Uh, uh, the denominator is already factored, and one factor comes with power 2. So x comes with uh, power 2 and the other one is just a linear uh, factor okay so what I'm going to do now is to go back to the table uh, that we had earlier and check how I can proceed uh, well first of all this is not improper so we still have uh, that the, the order of the top is or degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom um, and we're, it, number two is not applicable because it's already factored the denominator is already factored okay so I'm going to go, go with number three, and, and all I care about here at this moment is the power of the factors, okay? In, in one uh, factor, I have power two, in the other one, uh, it's one. So uh, that means I'm going to use this strategy, okay? All right, so let's go back here. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, I have uh, x minus one divided by x squared x plus one. To be written as don't take this as a quadratic okay because that's that's a very common uh, mistake when, when it's a quadratic you have to have a linear factor at the top uh, in the in the partial fraction uh, but it, it's a linear factor raised to the power of two so that's the difference so i'm going to write it as like a over uh, a1 over x plus a2 over x squared that takes care of the factor uh, x squared over there and then for the linear factor i'm going to put a3 over x plus one okay so right now I'm going to find a common uh, denominator. So here we go. I have x, x plus 1. I have x plus 1 here. And I have x squared here. Okay. Let's write everything in one shot. Uh, we are equating on the, only uh, the numerators. Okay. So a1, x times um, x plus 1. Um, a2 x plus 1 and a3 um, x uh, squared all right so let's give like simple values for x so let's start with maybe 
uh, let's see, negative 1 and 0 are good factors. And I'll choose the last one in the end. Okay. So for x equals negative 1, the left-hand side is negative 2. All two factors on the right are gone. Right? So you have only a3, and that, that is a3 equals a negative 2. That's good. And then for x equals 0, left-hand side is negative 1. And the first and the last factors uh, or terms in the right-hand side are gone. So this implies that a2 equals negative 1. Okay. And then uh, let's see, uh, let's choose another factor here, uh, maybe 1. That's an easy number to work with. Left-hand side is 0. Right-hand side is, uh, let's see, uh, 2a1, 2a2 plus a3. Okay. And 0 equals 2a1 plus 2a2, which is minus 2, and then a3 plus another minus 2. Okay. That implies that a1, 2a1 equals 4, a1 equals 2. Okay. All right. So I can go back here and simply replace uh, those a1, a2, a3s by what I came up with here. Okay. So a1 is 2 a2 is negative 1, a3 is negative 2, okay? And I can erase all the rest here, right? All the rest. I don't need them anymore, okay? And now I can pass the integration, okay? So integral of this, integral of this. As you see, I'm putting one integral sign and dx as well. Don't miss the dx's, okay? If you want to those, if you want to integrate those separately, okay. I only need uh, one u substitution here that u equals x plus one, so that du equals dx, and the other two are just integrable. So first one is two times ln absolute value of x, okay. The other one is uh, you can write this as a negative x to the negative two and integrate. That's negative x to the minus 1 divided by minus 1. That's just 1 over x. And the other one is uh, minus 2 du over u. So in turn, 2 ln x plus 1 over x minus 2 ln uh, absolute value of u plus c. I put one generic constant in integrating constant here. So 2 ln absolute value of x plus uh, 1 over x minus 2 ln x plus 1 plus c. Okay. I don't want to make this uh, video longer, but you can also combine these two ln terms uh, in one. Okay, So it's like 2 factored out ln x minus ln x plus 1. So I can write that by using the ln property as ln x over x minus 1 plus 1 over x plus c. Okay. I mean, even uh, even this form uh, is is pretty uh, pretty good uh, as is, right? Uh, so you don't really need uh, to uh, have uh, this ln terms to be combined. And if this was a definite integral, then you would just put the limits in uh, by using the fundamental theorem of calculus. You would be done. Okay. All right. Uh, for part B, please move on to the next video. Bye.